Hey everyone, Tiff Studies here. So, as you all know, I'm quite the fanatic about bullet journaling. I found that it was a much easier way for me to keep track of the stuff I had to do this year rather than using the diary my school provided me. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own bullet journal starter kit. So first, you need your own journal to bullet journal in. This year, I've chosen a Muji dotted journal. It's actually sewn together so you can lay it flat. So that's really good when you need to take photos, creating your bullet journal spreads and stuff. Next, you need to choose a base color pen. I used to use this blue pen, but then I found it clashed with the color theme spreads. So I've resorted to using a black Muji 0.38 gel pen. Next, grab some colored gel pens. These are all from Muji. And I've also got these retractable ones too. And the colors that they come in are sort of different to the ones that you see, like the regular gel pens. I also have a pazer, eraser, and ruler. So that's good if you have any sketches or need to draw some boxes in. So I've also invested in some Tombow brush pens, as well as the Pentel Fuda Touch brush sign pen, which is good for smaller lettering headers. Next you're going to need some washi tape. So these are from Muji, and inside I've got a range of different washi tapes. So there's Daiso, Muji, Officeworks, you name it. And I've got some hidden underneath the compartment there. So this is just a toolbox that I picked up from my local Bunnings. I've also got some stickers. These are Glossier stickers I picked up from my recent trip to New York, as well as some like art exhibition tickets, postcards, paint cards from Bunnings. And they're really good to just use in your spreads. I've also got these stickers from Paper Kumiko, as you've seen on my Instagram, and I really love using those to inspire my bullet journal themes. I've also got Kiki K gel pens, which have more vibrant colors, I guess, um, but more vibrant and mainstream colors than Muji. And I've also got Stadler fine liners in their pastel color set. And it's really cool, the case, because you can actually assemble it so it stands, which is really nifty. I also have the famous Zebra Mild Liners, and I have it in all the colours as you'd expect from me. It's really good to use for headers. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I use to make my bullet journal on a weekly basis. But in all honesty, you probably only need this black gel pen and some colored gel pens. As you can see in this spread, I only used a green mild liner and a black Muji pen for this entire bullet journal spread pretty much. Even for the lettering, it was just black pen or my green mild liner. I've also got this 2018 planner I received from my friends that I'll be using this year. It's just because I've picked up quite a lot of jobs and I just need to make sure that my schedule is correct and I don't have any clashes, so it's really good to invest in a planner so you can just get a general overview for the year. And it's already set up for you, so it saves you time. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for a 2017 bullet journal flip through. Happy studying!